How do you know that to be fact? Say yes. Amen. How do you know he lives? He lives. How do you know he lives? Say it again. By faith. How do you know he lives? I know. <coughs> Can you prove he lives? I'm alive. I'm alive. Does he live within you or not? Yes. He lives. Then he's alive. Amen. Okay. This revelation is born in the hearts of everyone who still remains in constant contact and communication with him. The Dead Sea Scrolls also remain, uh, include and reveal many of the true words which were spoken by him that have been deliberately and cunningly omitted from the pages of the Holy Bible. As a, a prospective leader and master, you need to arm yourself with the secrets of the mysteries of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Let me stop here for a moment to explain something further. How many books are there in the Old Testament? You need to attend my seminar classes. <laughs> 39 books in the Old Testament. You got that? How many books in the New Testament? How many? 27. Oddly enough, the volume which is called the 1611 King James Bible is incomplete. And that's why God, through revelation, has allowed certain of the Dead Sea Scrolls to be released. So the masses of the people in the world, the civilized world, would hear and recognize other words that were spoken by our Lord to encourage the people to a better way of life. Never forget that. And as you view the Dead Sea Scrolls, you'll see, and you'll be able to read along words that were spoken by the Master that are not even included in the Bible. Let me qualify one thing. You've heard this before, some of you, but I'm going to repeat it. The 1611 King James Bible was originally chartered by King James. And King James got the interpreters and the translators together, and he commanded them, this Bible has got to be complete by my birthday, and if it's not, all comes your head. So you can imagine these men were under such tremendous pressure to finish the King James Bible by his birthday, because on his birthday, he invited kings and important government leaders from all over the world to come to his bash, to his big birthday party. And he wanted to show them, aha, see, I got the King James Bible now named after me. And the translators, in fear and trembling, made a very important error. Instead of translating from the Aramaic and the Greek and the Hebrew and the Sanskrit, <coughs> some of them were so anxious to finish the pages that they made the serious mistake of interpreting instead of translating. And this is why there are a few errors in the Bible. But now you as enlightened people, members of the inner circle, when you go to your Bible, what you do is ask God by his spirit to give you wisdom, understanding, and knowledge, and more insight than you have ever possessed before. Then you can read the Bible as the Lord God of the universe will reveal to you what the word actually says and what the word actually means. And as members of the inner circle, let me repeat, you need to see the Dead Sea Scrolls on your television screen so that you'll be able to appreciate many of these things which were hidden, deliberately hidden by certain religious organizations, and they get my Irish out. And I'm excited. <laughs> deliberately omitted from the Bible because they were afraid the people won't understand. Well, fully on them. <laughs> I believe the people of the world should see and read and study and appreciate what thus said the Lord. Amen. Amen. That way it will be accurate right down the line. All right, I better go on before I start preaching. <laughs>
<laughs> the coming days of revelation and preparation. Prepare yourself to walk in heavenly places with a master of masters at your side at all times. We're preparing to enter into a specially and skillfully designed curve of spiritual development that has never before occurred on the planet Earth. This is good news for you because you are going to be a vital and important part of God's plan for the future. Prepare yourself for the following. Are you ready? How many of you are ready to be prepared? Amen. All right, here we go. Number one, to assume certain responsibilities of true leadership. Number two, to listen carefully to his divine voice in the night hours. Number three, to hear him speak to you in the soft winds of the night. Number four, to make important decisions which may also include your relocation. Number five, to make certain sacrifices of which you never imagined before. Number six, to take on responsibilities which will test your inner abilities to make certain choices for yourself. Number seven, to meet the criteria of each and every day that faces you with great demands. Number eight, to change your lifestyle if necessary. Signs and wonders and miracles will become an active part of your everyday life. Because of your own individual commitment to Almighty God, you will receive power to call on divine sources in order to bring to pass that which is necessary for you to fulfill your commitments. In months to follow, you will find yourself in an entirely different frame of thinking. You will begin to think positive thoughts regarding everything. Your mind will be linked with the mind of Almighty God, and the decisions which follow will be clear and uncluttered. Your superconscious mind will suddenly take on a brand new perspective, and you will think more clearly. This will allow you to get things done without fear or hesitation. Your inner powers will become accentuated to the point that you will even surprise yourself. This is the hour for which many of you have been waiting for a long time. This is the hour which has been duly appointed for you by the creator of the universe. <laughs> There is now to be a season of cooperation, fellowship, and communion, which will result in your being able to truly form your own destiny. I will leave you with this final thought of this lesson. You will never walk alone again. He will walk by your side, and your individual angels will accompany you for the rest of your life. Amen. And that's the end of that lesson. Oh, no.